Hello, I'm back with part two of the journals that I've received in swaps. This one was for a children's book swap with Lori Jagadish. And it was supposed to be done with spiral or um, rings instead of being a sewn in binding. And I was thrilled to be able to swap with Lori because I love her journals. And this was a really fun one, of course, because I love children's books. And she and I both did um, a variety of children's books, and which I thought was really fun. But again, our styles are different, so it was really awesome. So it's not like one, one theme of one kind of book. There's just a variety of children's books, which is what I did too in the journal that I made. Because when it comes to children's books, you can't just pick one, right? But this was a really fun one to look at and to write in. I was thinking maybe I'll have to see if Lori wants to do another swap with me um, someday, someday using um, the sewn-in binding. But she did an awesome job with this. I hope you're getting a good good enough idea as I flip through them quickly because if I showed you every page we would be here forever every page of every journal and I just I, I like this little thing she just added at the back maybe it helps um, the pages not to get stuck down in there it was a good idea and I love this image on the back so that was with Lori and Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. And I, you can sign up to do um, U.S. only or, or international. And I actually signed up to do international for this one. And I was thrilled to be paired with Una da Silva. I think she has a different name now. But when we did the swap, her name was Una da Silva. And she's from Ireland. And I thought, what a great thing to... Um, swap for Alice in Wonderland with someone from the UK. So, um, this is the Alice in Wonderland. This was supposed to be done with a folder. So here's the charm. She did a really nice charm and the nice images. And again, I think she used parchment paper and this nice creamy cardstock. The papers that she used are really, really nice. And it was really fun to write in. A lot of times I take the cards that are included, you know, just little stuck in cards and journal cards and tags and stuff, and I write Bible verses. So what, whatever I'm studying at the moment, I'll write the, some of the verses out on the backs of the cards and stuff. Sometimes I write, you know, if we had a lot of snow that day or, you know, what the weather was like or something special that I want to write on those tags, I can do that. She just did a fabulous job on this. And I love it. And then there was one all about junk. So this was supposed to be a junky junk journal. And this one was with Melanie Jacques from Quebec, Canada. And she did a lot of interesting things in this. There's duct tape. And look what she did here. She made a little band, a strap, out of the duct tape. And put a snap on it. I love that. So it just goes right through there and snaps. I love that. And then there's a little ribbon tassel there. And then... There's a zipper here. This was made with an envelope, but she put a zipper on the edge of the envelope so I can actually unzip it, and she put stickers and things inside. I haven't used this one yet, but I will, and I think it'll be a fun one to use. Oh, why am I closing it? So, again, it, it's junky junk journal, so it's junk mail, um, bits and pieces of whatever you find. 
popcorn bag. I think um, her family, or maybe she and her husband own a hardware store or something, and this came from that. She made a little booklet out of envelopes and just added some paper so I can journal on them. There's a lot of fun things in here, and you can be very creative. If you haven't tried making a journal, journal out of junk, then I think you should try, because it is so much fun and liberating to do that. And I want to do it again. So that was from Melanie Jacques in Canada. And then we did a Jane Austen swap, and I was paired with Christy Biggs, who has the Twins For Me Too channel on YouTube. And I love the journal that she made. And this one has paper, just um, a strip of paper glued over the, the binding. And I think that's really nice. And a piece of metal here. And she used a lot of really lovely printables. And I just finished writing in this recently, and as I wrote, I would take out the paper clips and things that were in my way while I was writing, and then I would forget to put them back. So I have most of them back in, but I have to finish putting <laughs> those back in. Look at this giant tag. She Mod Podge a napkin onto it and then glued a couple elements on it. And I wrote that it was created by Christy Biggs on the back of it. So there's cute little pockets with the flaps and just decorated up so pretty. She used a lot of doilies. Look at that interesting tab she has on that card. And there's a tab on the page, too. It's unusual. I don't know if I'm showing you very many of the images, but there are a lot of Jane Austen illustrated images throughout. Keep calm and read Jane Austen. Probably one of those tags that I need to put away goes but goes behind here. And I like this tag too. Again, it's got a na napkin on it, but she sewed paper around the back and so it sewed all the all the way around the edges. And then she put this quote on, completely and perfectly and incandescently happy from Pride and Prejudice. And I haven't been doing a lot of swaps lately for a while. Since I opened my Etsy store, I haven't done a lot of swaps. I've done some. I'm trying to get some books off the floor. I'm sorry. So I did a one-on-one -on -one swap with Lee Pogue. Lee and I have never been paired up in a swap on Junk Journal Junkies, but we um, began communicating with each other through YouTube, and she's my friend, and uh, we wanted to do one-on-one -on -one swap together. So we did a couple of them, and I love her style. I really do. She has a nice colorful style, but it still kind of looks vintage. So I'm not sure what the cover was. I guess it's just some chipboard with decoupage napkins or tissue paper on it. Really pretty. And see what I mean about color? But it looks so nice. I love this purple vellum. And she made a pocket out of it, a bag out of it or something. Or else, or else it came that way. I don't know, but I like it.
And Lee does have a YouTube channel too. It's just under her name, Lee Pogue. But again, I don't think she makes a lot of journals and a lot of videos, but I like to hear, I like to watch her videos. She has a sweet Southern voice. So just a really beautiful, colorful little journal. It's fun for me to go through and re, uh, revisit these journals that other people made for me. And then we decided to do another one-on-one -on -one swap. She had seen me do a journal. It was before I had an Etsy store. And I made a journal for like using up my stash. And then I showed it and said I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So she was making also a use up your stash journal. This isn't it. Why do we have so many? We swapped three times, must be. Oh, no, this isn't from her. This is the one I couldn't find. Okay, so this one was from her. Um, anyway, she was also doing a book that was using up stash. So she suggested that we just swap. So I agreed to do that. So uh, unfortunately, when I got the book that she made, it had come out. She used a hidden binding and it had come out um, and it had come unsewn and I tried to put it back together and I was having trouble with it and so I just set it aside until I could really work on it but in looking at it again I decided that I want I'm going to put it in a book with a bigger spine I hope you don't mind Lee but I thought this cover was gorgeous and I have a lot of uh, Reader's Digest covers that I want to use, so I thought I would just put these signatures in here. And then I'll actually be able to use this book that Lee made for me, because I love the pages. And I'll um, preserve as much of, of this that you sent me as I can. Um, but anyway, the pages are just gorgeous in Lee style. Look at that. I love that. It's just a really fun, eclectic journal because it was a use your stash up journal. I love that too. Lee knows that it came apart because um, I did a video opening it, and it kind of came apart while I was showing it. And um, I told her not to worry that I would put it back together, but I still haven't. But I will. Love you, Lee. So I think it'll look nice in that cover, and I'll try to decorate it as much like she did as I can. And I only have three more. This is the Use It or Lose It swap that I did on Junk Journal Junkies. It was supposed to be a one signature swap, and so that's why I ended up doing that other journal that I swapped with Lee, because, I mean, just using doing one signature to use your stash just didn't cut it i said i've got to use up more than this so i made that other journal and then swapped with lee but this one i uh was a swap from rosemary and i don't know if i'll say this right but a recadera and we swapped our use it or lose it journals and i think it's made with file folder with mod podge stuff on it oh there was a pocket here i think the pocket came off And I haven't used this one yet, obviously. So they were supposed to be eclectic. They weren't supposed to be all matchy-matchy because it was use it or lose it. So we weren't supposed to just take like a, a what do we call them? A collection and use that collection just to use it up. 
we were supposed to use up odds and ends that we had. And so it was really fun. And she did a really lovely job on hers. With every journal that you swap or purchase from someone else, you can get ideas to incorporate into your own journals and make them your own. I love these piano pages. So this is a really fun journal. I put a note in the back that she made it and what the name of the swap was. And I was lucky enough to get paired with Beth Wallen for a vintage lace and fabric cover journal. And they were supposed to be small, I think, if I recall. Maybe not. But it was supposed to be one signature. And look at Beth's work. She is exquisite in her work, and I was really thrilled to be paired with her. And uh, she lives in Canada. Look at that. Not sure. Oh, this must... I don't know where this came from. And I haven't used this one yet either. But it's just beautiful. Look at that. It's got a little piece of a doily cheesecloth and a button sewn onto this um, index card which has, I think it's probably a piece of napkin Mod Podge to it. She does beautiful work. This one has a double pocket, double tuck and a little piece of muslin fabric or something like that. A little finer than muslin with a button. Beth is one you can get a lot of ideas from. And lastly, oh no, it's not last. There's another one down there. I did a one-on-one -on -one swap with Stacy Carpenter, also from Canada. Um, she was fairly new to making junk journals at that time, and asked me if I would swap with her, and I had never seen a journal that she made, but I agreed to swap, and I am really glad I did. I love this journal, and she now makes and sells a lot of journals. She does not have an Etsy store. She has a website, I believe, um, but she does have a YouTube channel, and I will try to try to get that linked. Love my Oh, I can't remember her YouTube channel. Love my type one girl, something like that. But this is a really beautiful journal. She used um, Daphne's diary throughout. And I did use this, obviously. It was really fun to use. And then the last one was pretty recently. I did a paper doll swap. It's the first time I've done a swap in a long time. And a paper doll journal swap. And I showed this not too long ago because I just got it not too long ago. And the person I swapped with um, used the Tim Holtz paper dolls for her interpretation of the paper doll swap. And I just realized, I just saw D for door, but I bet she put that there when she realized who her partner was because that's my first initial. If it was already there, it was just a happy coincidence. So this is a very vintage looking book with a lot of Tim Holtz paper dolls and I love the pockets. She did a lot of layering in here. There's a lot of Tim Holtz, which I love. See, there's some of the layering. belly band there. And a belly band on the back with a little boy sitting sitting on it. So those are my journals that I have swapped for. 
and I love every one of them. Um, oh, I was missing one. I couldn't find the one for the fairy swap because I have my swaps written down. And I couldn't find the fairy one. And then I realized when I was trying to show Lise that I had put this with hers, thinking it was hers. But this was a fairy swap. And I don't have the name of the person written down because I couldn't find the book. So I can't remember who made this, but I love it. I love fairies, so that's why I joined the swap. And I love the colors that she used. It's cute. So we were supposed to use a lot of fairy and flower images. So I was quite disappointed that I couldn't find my fairy journal, so I'm, I'm glad it was here all the time. Look at those little tiny pockets, or envelopes. It's cute. Oh, look at that ribbon. Okay, now that's the end of my swap journals. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing them. And I am going to get started on my next journal project, which is going to be baby journals. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.